Well, a very good morning from a cold and frosty Grand Union Canal. It's about minus five degrees. It's freezing and we've got a real proper hoar frost on the ground, which is lovely and it's great for photography. So that's why I've come down to the towpath today to see if I can capture some quintessential canal scenes. My first composition is the canal. It's all frozen over here and you've got the boat in the distance and the sun just coming up. Now it looks very bright on the screen, but what I can do on the camera is just, oh, hang on, it's just switched off. There we go. I've got this, let it focus. I think I'm a little bit too close. There we go. Okay, I've got this plus and minus symbol. And what that then does it reduces the exposure. So can you see it getting darker on the screen? Okay, and pretty much what you see is what you're going to get. So I'll take that picture and that's looking quite nice. So that's my first picture. And using a compact camera with just very, very basic, very, very basic tools, like the plus and minus there, that's your exposure compensation. So I'm gonna put that back up now because otherwise I forgot that I've done it. So back to zero. So I'm underexposing, so it brings out all the detail and it brings out those lovely colors in the sky as well. So this is my view. So it's absolutely gorgeous. I changed the composition slightly to include the branches on the top to frame the picture better. Frozen canal can be very deceptive. You can get thick layers of ice and thin layers of ice. This particular section, the ice was quite thin, but I still wouldn't want to move in this because it could scrape my blacking off. What's amazing is you can just see actually how thin the ice is because you can see the ripples underneath, just underneath the ice. It's quite amazing to see. I love this time of year and I absolutely love these conditions on the canal. I was in the middle of taking a picture then and I was distracted by the swan who was trying to get across the ice. He was breaking the ice. So he's, he's a little bit of an icebreaker, but bless him, he was really having a go. <laughs> he's just across the other side now, but uh, I think he's okay. Just listen to that sound as the ice breaks. He was really struggling though, bless him. I wish I could have helped him, but I can't. Oh well. On these cold 
day seeing the smoking chimney reminds me of how cosy and snug the resident inside would be, just like me on board Narrowboat Avalon. Hello, sheep. <laughs> oh, they're a lot warmer than I am. It's freezing. <laughs> the canal is all frozen over and it's actually created some really interesting patterns on the canal. I just want to say, actually, while I'm on this walk, thank you so much for all of my new subscribers. I can't even say it, subscribers. I am absolutely overwhelmed. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys. Please stick with me and I'm going to do more videos like this, more photography, even with the compacts or the mobile or even with the, the proper camera. <laughs> <laughs> I call it as well but stick with me and yeah thank you so much I'm overwhelmed absolutely overwhelmed and uh, I've been working on my channel for quite a number of years I am absolutely gobsmacked <laughs> <laughs> That's the only word I can think of to describe at the moment. Anyway, I'm rambling, so let's get on with my walk. I should be rambling of the walking variety, not of the talking variety. Let's go. Now, I've just come off the canal, it's just behind me there because I've seen a scene, it actually caught my eye just looking through the hedgerows and looking through the embankment of the canal. And uh, yeah, it's of this really nice barn, but I'm actually stood in a very precarious position at the moment, being tweeted at by all sorts of birds saying, get away, get away, this is my hedgerow. <laughs> So it's that barn just in the distance there that caught my eye. And I think that looks really nice. Notice how I've offset the barn just to the right a little because it attracts the eye and all the colours, they complement each other. So you've got the greens and you've got the oranges there. So yeah, I think I'm going to take that shot. This is very cool. Can you see all the leaves? How they're frozen here. So I'm going to try and capture those, get a close up of those as well. It's looking for little details like that that tells a story and paints a picture of your surroundings, of what you've experienced in the day. So excuse my head just poking in here. But yeah, I'm just kind of going to try and capture some of these leaves here on the, on the bow of this narrow boat. Beautiful. I do very little post-processing, but on this shot, I changed the hue slightly and the sharpness I adjusted to bring out that bitiness of the frost and the ice crystals. You can see the layers of ice I was explaining about earlier, where boats have passed through and the canal has frozen over again. You can see big chunks of ice that have actually frozen and layered on top of each other.
Now I mentioned earlier about detail and this is a prime example. You see I'm looking into a bush here and I've just picked out some leaves against the rising sun. So if I pan up you can actually see where I'm looking. It doesn't look very much but it's just picking out detail. Oh the camera's just switched off. There we go. And that makes for a much better picture. So I'm going to take that as a shot. So I'm just composing on those leaves that are dropping. Nice out of focus background. Now I've achieved this. Can you see the f-stop? Where's my finger? Hang on. Let's put the details up. So the f-stop, that's the aperture, the f6.3. And I've set A, which is aperture priority on my dial, A. So A, aperture priority, f6.3. And that gives you a shallow depth of field so you can pick out detail like I have done there with the leaves so it throws the background out of focus and keeps the leaves in focus. So another great little shot. Wow, would you look at that just ahead of me, beautiful. It's all about the lighting. So I've set up my camera, I've set it up low now because this is all about composition. And look at the bridge, if I zoom in, I'm going to take out the sky, just move my composition, sharpen up, there you go. I don't want those telegraph poles just on the right hand side. What I like is that lovely tree leaning in now to clean the image up, can you see there's a little bit of foreground there? I'm actually going to eliminate that. Zoom in a little bit more. And I would say that is about my picture. Or maybe, yeah, no, there, there you go. Oh, wait for the car. Let's try that. I hope I'm giving you a little bit of inspiration to go out and take some pictures along the canal. Like I said, you don't have to use your big camera. You can use a mobile phone if you want to. That's what most people take pictures with nowadays. And cameras are so good now, it doesn't matter. It's all about the light and the conditions. And as you can see this morning with the hoarfrost and the smoking chimneys from the boats, from the narrow boats, it creates that beautiful atmosphere and that lovely lighting. And that's what it's all about. So it doesn't matter what camera you've got. It could be a compact camera like I've used today. I've used a compact camera because it's nice and light. And you know, I'm not being weighed down by a big heavy camera. So it doesn't matter, you know, go out with your mobile, go out with your compact camera or action camera or SLR if you're really into photography. That's fantastic. But it's all about the atmosphere and the lighting and the conditions. If you get those right, you are guaranteed brilliant pictures. Well, sadly, it's time to turn around. I've come to the end of my walk along the beautiful Grand Union Canal that's still frozen over. I've had a fantastic towpath walk. It's been about, oh, two miles, I think. And uh, hopefully I've captured some beautiful, beautiful pictures. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little walk along the canal. Now, you don't have to have the most expensive equipment. You don't have to have the most expensive camera. You can use your phone. You can use a compact camera like I've done today. And hopefully I've proved that you can take some really good pictures so just get up get out and get the pictures that's my little motto I haven't said that for ages <laughs> but it's time now to get a cup of tea <laughs> I'm freezing oh you can see my breath 
if you haven't subscribed to my channel already why not please subscribe it does help my channel and it's totally free it doesn't cost a penny so please subscribe don't forget to hit that thumbs up that helps the YouTube algorithm as well and hit that notification bell for when I upload brand new videos and you'll be notified first when I've released a new video These last two pictures were the pictures I had in my mind. The epitome of canal life in winter. The smoking chimneys, the warm glow of the rising sun. Absolutely beautiful. I've hit the jackpot here. These were my best shots. <laughs>